guys and welcome to another video. So, earlier this morning I tweeted out this. Can we announce the bloody away kit now please? Because God knows no players are getting announced. Okay, I was wrong, okay? I was I was very wrong. So Sunderland have announced the signings of both Morgan Feeney and Remy Matthews, of course. Feeney being a centre-back, just a young centre-back who's recently been released from Everton. And Matthews as well, a free agent who is a goalkeeper. So, my thoughts on the pair of them. Uh, I think Morgan Feeney, I think that is a, it's a decent little sign in that. I don't think he will more than likely go straight into the starting eleven for me. He'll more than likely just be someone who, who, who will use for cover. But he's at a really good age, only 21, 22. And uh, he's played at pretty much all the age groups with England. He's uh, captained the uh, the... Uh, Everton new side to a couple of trophies as well. So of course, as a youngster, he's got those um, those leadership abilities naturally in him, which I like. And I've only heard good things about him. Unfortunately, when he did go out on loan last season to uh, Tranmere, uh, he played one game and then picked up an injury. Which uh, you know, knowing our luck, the similar thing could uh, happen again. But obviously, fingers crossed, it doesn't touch what it doesn't. Um, but yeah, I, I am pleased with that. We'll uh, we'll have a quick look at what um, the Sunderland statement did say. Sunderland AFC are delighted to announce the signing of former Everton centre-back Morgan Feeney. The 21-year-old joins Phil Parkinson's side on a short-term deal after leaving the Toffees last month following a 13-year stay with the Merseyside club. Feeney captained Everton under-23s as they twice won the Premier League 2 in the 2016-17 and 2018-19 season and they completed a, a domestic double in the latter campaign by adding the Premier League Cup to their haul. The defender has also represented England at under-17, 18 and 19 level while also spending time on loan with Tramir Rovers last season. After sealing a move to the stage of Malite, Feeney said, I'm made up to be here, it's a massive club, and when a team like Sunderland want you, you don't think twice. After such a long time at Everton, I couldn't really ask for much more than to come to a club like this, and I can't wait to get started. Manager Phil Parkinson added, Morgan has been training with us for a few weeks, and he's done very well. He's a player with excellent pedigree, having been in and around the England under-19 setup, and he will bring added competition to the defence. So that's the first signing, Morgan Feeney. As I say, I'm, uh, I'm relatively pleased with that. I don't think it's obviously like a, a star signing in my opinion, but he's of a very good age. He can only improve, and we would desperately, I mean desperately, in need of cover at centre back as well, which I've alluded to anyway in previous videos. So that's a good one to get through the door because if Parkinson is planning to play the sort of three at the back with win backs as well. We're going to need uh, quite a, a decent amount of centre-backs for options um, going forward. And now on to our second signing, which is Remy Matthews. He is, of course, a goalkeeper who we've been linked with quite consistently over the last few weeks. Now, for me, I think this is a brilliant brilliant signing. I know we, was, uh, we were linked with the youngster from Wolves, but um, you know, for, for a loan deal, uh, but that didn't uh, go through. And I think that was probably due to the salary caps. But with Remy Matthews, he's only 26, um, which is a very, very good age for keeper. A brilliant age, in fact. And, you know, he's been here, there and everywhere. He's been at, like, Bolton, Norwich, Burton, I believe, as well, uh, uh, along with a host of other clubs. He's made over 100 first-team appearances across those clubs. And um, although I can't say I've watched him closely, because you don't necessarily watch goalkeepers too closely, but um, or at least players that, or goalkeepers that don't play for you, but um, I remember when we did play him back at the stage of light on Boxing Day, and he was absolutely phenomenal. So if he's anything close to that, then I think he could eventually... Uh, maybe even get to our number one because him and Burge at the minute it's not like either of them are miles off each other so it's going to be a real good battle a good competition to see who's going to get uh, that number one spot between the sticks so two very very decent signings for me but we will have a look at the Remy Matthews statement from the club so it goes on to say Sunderland AFC are delighted to confirm the signing of goalkeeper Remy Matthews the 26 year old has put pen to paper on a one year deal at the stage of a light following the expiration of of his contract at Bolton Wanderers. Matthews, who played under manager Phil Parkinson during his time with the Trotters, becomes the Black Cats' fourth signing of the summer. Prior to joining Bolton on a permanent basis in 2019, the stopper came through the ranks at Norwich and enjoyed loan spells at Burton, Doncaster, Hamilton and Plymouth as well. Matthews has made over 100 career appearances to date with six different clubs and his efforts against the lads on Boxing Day last year ensured he kept a clean sheet at the Stadium of Light. Following his switch to Wayside, Matthews said, Everybody knows how big this club is 
and I've worked with the manager and the backroom staff before, so nobody had to sell it to me. It was a no-brainer. I'm delighted to get the deal over the line and I'm excited to get going. Manager Phil Parkinson added, This is a big signing for us because we have been trying to sign a goalkeeper and that process became very complicated due to the salary cap situation. Remy is a player with good experience, but at 26, he's at a good age with plenty of improvement in him as well. So that is what had been said on Remy Matthews. And again, I think those are two very decent signings. Do, uh, or rather, particularly inspirational ones or ones that really get you lifted. Maybe not. I think that's probably because maybe the positions in which they're playing. And of course, they're almost both backup players. Maybe Matthews, like I say, Matthews, I think quite easily um, be number one, exactly the same as Burge. Whereas with Feeney, he, I would imagine you know, um, he would more than likely be back up for the majority unless he does impress and he, and he plays well, which of course I hope he does. Although it hasn't been confirmed how long Feeney's deal actually is. It just simply said it was a short-term deal. So was that a six-month deal or what? I do not know, but we'll, we'll, we'll soon find out. But um, one more thing, of course, the fixture list has been revealed today as well. We'll be playing Bristol Rovers on the opening game of the season, which I think is a decent one um, for me. Of course, we have to play all the, the bigger teams anyway, all the more difficult games in which we like to label them. But I think it's a really good opportunity for us to get a, a three points under our belt immediately because really, with no disrespect to Bristol Rovers, we, sh we should be beating teams like that, even though we didn't not so long ago before the uh, the stoppage of the season. We really should be getting three points together in that game and then pushing on. So following the Bristol Rovers game, we do have Oxford away, then Peterborough at home, and then Charlton away as well. Then, of course, Blackpool at home as well. But uh, those Oxford, Peterborough and Charlton games all look... Uh, pretty tasty but like I say if we get ourselves off to a good start against Bristol Rovers get three points which you know it's easier said than done but if you get that first three points on the board then flying into these bigger games with, with, with confidence I don't see why we shouldn't be uh, picking up wins there but um, but yeah I'll leave that on the screen for you there as you can see all of the, the fixtures but that is everything as of right now guys so it's been a pretty busy last hour or so it seemed as though it was going to be a pretty boring day we hadn't heard news for a while then everything just kicked off out of nowhere so um and there's actually a massive rumor right now that danny graham may be signing as uh, as early as tonight so um look i'll keep my eyes out for that one for me i wouldn't be particularly um enthused with danny graham uh, i know a lot of people may disagree which is fine that's your opinion but in my opinion i just don't feel as though danny graham would add or improve what we've already got that much. I don't think it'd be worth it. And this 35. So for me, I, I would prefer a bit of strength and pace up top. But if we do go for him, then, you know, what am I going to do? <laughs> I'll, I'll have to support him either way. I just find him relatively similar to um, to, to Will Grigg, but obviously just mm. older. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, I wouldn't be massively enthused if it was Danny Gray or if that is to be revealed. But we, we shall see. But anyway, let me know uh, down below what you think about the new signings and also the fixture list as well. Um, but yeah, if you have enjoyed, please hit the like button for me. It'd be massively, massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, you take care. Stay jamming.